Hi Girl Scouts! My name is Betsy Nichols. I work for the Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines. I work out of our Duluth office in Duluth, Minnesota. This video is one of four for our Daisy Think Like an Engineer journey. Today I will be guiding you through the first design challenge which is building a fairy house. But first, let's start with the Girl Scout Promise and the Girl Scout Law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Great. Today, we are going to design and build a fairy house. If you're watching this video at home with someone else, pause the video real quick and talk about what makes a house a house. Examples could be a roof or a floor. See what else you can come up with. Next item on our list is figuring out what we're going to build our fairy houses out of. This is your opportunity to be creative and go on a scavenger hunt around your house. And if you have access to the outdoors, you could also look outside for items. Anything like twigs, leaves, acorns, um, buckets or bags or other containers that you have. Glue, modeling clay, construction paper, cardboard, cups, markers, crayons popsicle sticks, and then anything that you want to decorate your fairy house with, like glitter or um, stickers. What you should remember is that before you take any items from around your house, make sure you have permission to use those for your fairy house. And also remember that this list that I just read is just a suggestion. I definitely don't have all of this stuff, and it's okay if you don't have it either. This is all about the creative process and finding a solution that works with what we have. So let's go find some supplies. All right, so I just went around my house and uh, rounded up the things that I could find for my fairy house. And this is what I was able to come up with. So down here we have some tissue paper. We have some colored pencils. We have scissors, a gift bag, an empty Girl Scout cookie box, have some twine and some washi tape. Once you have your supplies, you just need to figure out where you're going to put your fairy house. Maybe try to put it in a location where it's not going to get stepped on by siblings or pets. A nice um, isolated place for your fairy house to live if you want to keep it up for a while. I've decided to put it in my nook over here by the window. I have a chair, I have some plants. I think it's a great location for a fairy house. There's also a window that they can look through. So I think I have found my location for my fairy house. And now all I have to do is get building. Okay, I am back with my finished fairy house. What I went with design-wise was I kind of tried to do a little glam uh, tent situation. I've always wanted to go glamping and so I felt like if I could give the fairies an opportunity to do that then that would be a lot of fun. So what I used was um, one side of a empty Girl Scout cookie box. That was the base for my uh, glam tent and then I made a little um, tent poles out of my colored pencils. You can see that I kind of used string to wrap them up uh, to get them to stay together. And then my tent walls are some tissue paper. And then I put some tape to hold the tent flaps off to the side. So this is my completed fairy house. I'm going to put it down here underneath my chair and that's where it will live. And so let's talk about what we just did. We just um, thought of an idea. We thought of let's build a fairy house. Then we got the supplies that we needed to build it. And then I know I thought about what do I want it to look like. And then I hope you did too. And then we designed it. We built it. Now 
I don't know about you, but I had to try a few things a couple different times. Something that I tried to do at first was just to prop up the colored pencils onto each other, have the um, tissue paper support it as the walls, and they wouldn't stand up. So I had to get creative and use my twine to support the um, tent poles and to keep them standing upright. So that was something that didn't really work out the first time, but once I tried it again, I got it to work the, the second time. So that is something that engineers are, uh, are doing in their jobs. This journey that we're going on is called Think Like an Engineer. Engineers are people with big imaginations that look at a problem or look at something that needs to be done and they say, what do I have that um, I can use to fix this problem? How do I need to fix this problem? And let's go out and try to solve this problem. So over the next couple weeks, we are going to continue to go through these design challenges together and learn how to be engineers and think like engineers ourselves. I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you had a lot of fun building your fairy house. I did as I know I did. And let's end this little meeting with the um, Make New Friends song and then we'll try to do a little um, friendship circle. We'll see how that goes. So sing it with me. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. A circle is round, it has no end. That's how long I want to be your friend. Goodbye, Girl Scouts.